What's up guys, this episode we are picking up where we left off in the login with Facebook episode. Last episode we got the access tokens ready to go and this episode we are going to take those tokens and talk to the Facebook API. So we have a little bit to do but the Koala Gem is what we're going to be using for this and it's really really easy to get started. It just isn't very rubyish so you'll see that when we dive in. So let's get in to using and installing the koala gem. So basically we're going to open up our code and add a koala to our gem file. And that goes here at the bottom. So then you're going to hop into your terminal, run bundle to install that. And then we also want to set up a config initializer for it. And this is gonna be where we set config initializers koala.rb this file is going to have us set our global app ID and app secret so that anytime we create a Koala client, it'll automatically have our app ID and secret available and then we'll just pass in the access token and be off to the races. So with this, we want to do the same thing as before. Rails.application.secrets, Facebook, app ID, and the same thing goes for the secret. We want Facebook app secret. We had previously set those two values in our secrets.yaml for those names. So those values are already in our file and we are good to go. Now we need a way to instantiate the client, which I'm going to do inside app model service. And we're gonna have a client method here, which will create the Koala client for the API. And as you can see in their example, it's as simple as saying Koala Facebook API new access token and because we have an access token column on our service this will automatically pass that in and we'll be good to go so with this setup we can now ask for the service and post and read from our facebook feed so if we go into our rails console now 